if there's one thing that I miss on longer trips down through France and Spain and Portugal on the motorways is uh, cruise control so uh, I'm gonna fit cruise control to the van These are the little micro switches that I'm using to set and resume the cruise control at the moment. I got these from Alex Whitaker on T Forever Facebook group. Plugs into the cruise control socket down there using a Mark 1 Golf connector, 4 pin. I just want to show you below the dashboard where the cruise control connector is. It's just over here. This is the four pin socket that it gets connected to. So this is the loom side and that is the fuse box ECU side over there. So yeah you'll have to rummage around amongst the crow's nest of, of wires behind the fuse box and what you're looking for is a little red four pin connector over there. Roughly behind and above the accelerator pedal is where you'll find it. There you go, cruise control is fitted. This little switch over here, a little bit untidy, but tested the theory. Black is to switch it on and off, and then the white button is to set and reset the cruise. And there we go, 60 miles an hour. Long distance road trips, here we come, all right. Well, that's the cruise control wiring loomed up. It's a four pin plug, which goes into the connector underneath the dashboard. That's the momentary switch for set and resume and faster and slower. And then the on off switch, because I'd like to be able to disable it. And then the ground, which goes to the ground point on the steering column. So now just to install it in the van, give it a test. I need somewhere nice to fit the cruise control switches. So I'm going to do so over here on this flat face, which appears behind the unnecessary cold start lever. On the 2.5 TDI, it doesn't have a cold start lever. So I can use this place over here to fit the micro switches. I'm going to mount the on off switch in the hole for the cold start lever and then cut a recess into this fascia here to mount the momentary switch. Obviously that will be set and resume and this will be a nice place for them. The little toggle switch requires a 20 mil hole which I'm going to cut with this little hole saw over here. The hole is now bigger and now the little switch will fit into that hole there like that perfectly concealed I'll fit the momentary switch underneath I've marked off the spot where I want to cut the aperture for the switch so it's roughly 30 mil by 10 mil There are little veins at the back here supporting the dashboard in this space. So you just have to trim away little bits at a time. Now these are the two switches, the cruise control on and off, faster and slower. And they will fit in those two holes over there. Wires will come in from the back of course. That's the little switch so that will be brown at the bottom, short wire for power in the middle and then switch power at the top, power switch. Beautiful. Underneath the dash, 
just over there you can see that brown disc that's actually the earthing point inside the dash and you can just see I've connected up a little blue connector there which is the earth for the cruise control now to just thread the connectors through the hole there's the piggyback which goes in the center blue and red now red bit should be for faster blue should be for slower or set resume now I've got blue piggyback I had to just modify the back of the switch there to make space for it and then red for go faster with a little bit of encouragement and there you go cruise control fitted the round switch for on and off because I didn't want it on all the time uh, just in case and then of course uh, set resume faster slower so it's nice and easily accessible from the steering wheel and uh, neatly positioned in where the cold start lever would have been so that seemed like a really good place to put it I've threaded the, the wires down through the back of the fuse box so it comes out over there and then the little connector for the cruise control is at the back here and there you go cruise control of course just like any normal cruise control once you set this and you touch the brakes or the accelerator the cruise control automatically disengages but just for safety's sake I like to be able to switch it on and switch it off with the power switch over there but yeah it works beautifully and we are out watching the sunset on the cliffs above Monte Clerico in Portugal for Jackie's birthday what an absolutely stunning sight